Hey, welcome back to the Three Foodies channel. Today we're making a video about water while we're waiting on the master chef and sous chef to uh, prepare and make videos. Um, we want to say right off the bat, we do not encourage you to buy any type of plastic water, plastic water bottles, but we also want to be realistic and know nobody's perfect. And every once in a while, um, you, me, um, everybody basically will buy a plastic water bottle due to convenience, stress, whatever the case may be. And in this case, we just want to talk about the five um, water bottles or waters, I guess, we prefer. And we suggest, though, that you have your own reusable um, uh, water container, reusable plastic uh, bottle instead of, um, you know, being uh, wasteful and uh, basically uh, adding more plastic to the environment is not good as we all know so we do not want to promote that and um yeah basically refer back to you having your own container and better it would be even to have your own filter at home so you don't even have to buy water um and use the tap water and basically filter that and then put it in your reusable water container to take with you to work school whatsoever that said so as you can see um most of these water, actually all of them, I believe, except the one on the right hand side, the Italian or is it a French one, um, doesn't have a 9.5 pH. I would actually have to look on the uh, back of the bottle. Just give me a second and I will let you know what the pH level is on this one. Uh, and of course it doesn't say it, maybe it says it on the front. Let me turn it. It's actually made in Italy. So yeah, it's definitely not French. So Pelergion. Uh, kind of want to, let's see, zoom it in. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about the pH level on this one. And I guess I could Google it if I wanted to. But uh, typical or most waters um, that are not 9.5 pH or higher have a 7 to 8 pH level, which I'm assuming this one has here on the right side, Italian water. But it's a carbonated water or sparkle water, so, and I get to to the reason why I like it, we like it um, in a minute. But the Essentia, the Smart Water, the generic brand water from Walmart, and the Fiji water. And I believe the Fiji water has also a um, 9.5 pH level, if not definitely, or most likely a 9. Let me turn it around, I'm going to read it close up on the bottom. Actually no, the Fiji water has a 7.7. .7. So, I guess the three over here, Essentia, Smart Water, I guess I look at all of them now, <laughs> not to give you any wrong information, right? Uh, where does it say it on that one? Zooming in, as far as me reading the back. pH level is balanced. Is it on the bottom right here? No, it just says purely balanced pH water. Okay, so I guess uh, we don't know the pH level of the smart water. So anywhere from 7 to 8 standard water going back to 7.7 .7 for this water that one is a 9.5 for sure here on the side ionized and that one is a um, 9.5 in the middle and the smart water we don't know at that point so I would have to google that I should have done more research but again we are learning here right so um, as far as speaking as uh, of favorites so my personal favorite is the Essentia, and then after that would be the Italian one because I do like sparkle water, carbonated water every once in a while, but and it's the, the cheapest one out of the five, um, but not everybody likes carbonated water or sparkle water. Um, then uh, I guess, no, I have to track back a little bit. So the cheapest one is actually, I believe, this one, although it's a bigger bottle. And it is a 1.5 liter versus a 750 milliliter, or um, I guess if I turn it around here, a 
as far as the ounces so it says 50.7 fl ounces in the bottle this one is i believe a liter the fiji water is a liter or is it more than a liter no it is a exact liter um and then let's go to the smart water we have here the amount is 700 so 750 700 a liter um 1.5 liters and then we have here a how much are you baby here let's see and that's a liter as well so i guess these two are exactly one liter and um from the taste as I said, well, I didn't actually say that, but taste-wise is that one and that one my favorite. I guess after that it would be Fiji, Smart, and then in the middle. And due to, or the, the reason why, I guess, is if you like the smoothness, if you like a higher pH water in general, then um, the Essentia and probably the one from Walmart is the better one for you. Um, if you like sparkle water, then we have to go back to the Pelagirino. Pelagirino. <laughs> um, again, sorry for the mispronunci mispronunciation. Um, and then Fiji, yeah, is uh, tastes very good too. And has been around for, I believe, the longest with the Italian one. The three, of, of the three on this side, Essentia, Smart Water, and Al Alkina generic brand from Walmart. Um, are newer so this one is probably a decade old this is probably only a few years old this is fairly fairly new because walmart is trying to catch up with the healthier version of water right with the 9.5 p ph and what does the ph actually stand for um it's basically um the hyd the hydration level of the water um and it basically indicates that it breaks down the acid in your body faster compared to the to this one, even the Fiji one that only has a seven or seven point seven uh, pH level. So it means also that when it has a higher pH level or at least a nine point five, that uh, it's better to kill toxins and any kind of foreign stuff in your body because most of or as you should know most of um, your body is water uh, every website says something else as far as 70 versus 80 some websites say even 90 percent um, of your body is water but you can definitely guarantee it's definitely over 70 percent at least and so in order for your body to um, uh, break down the acids break down toxins and anything that's bad and foreign for your body it needs to have a high pH level. The higher the better. Of course, if it's too high, that can be unhealthy as, as well. But we want to see at least a 9. Um, normal water, like that one, or Fiji water is good too. It's not bad, but some of the waters that are very cheap, um, I'm not going to name uh, store brands now that sell very cheap water, even... I guess one of the ones that we definitely can mention is Walmart also sells, sells cheaper water. Uh, I would definitely not recommend because um, it's not hydrating you as it should. It's not helping your body as it should. Most likely it doesn't taste that good. Um, and then some of you might say, well, water is water. Not to everybody. You'd be surprised. I mean, to me it's not and to most other people I know it's not. Water definitely has a smoothness, a texture. Uh, to it and uh, sometimes they put stuff in it for taste or this one is ionized uh, for example so there is there's definitely a difference water is not just water and um, ultimately it should help your body to stay hydrated stay wealthy and healthy wealthy why wealthy i guess abundantly wealthy healthy <laughs> well, i don't know why i'm jibble jabbing that um so yeah, which of these uh, waters we want to know is your favorite in the comment box. We want to know about your feedback. And um, I guess from a price point, the cheapest one would be the one in the middle from Walmart. Although, although I'm not quite sure because between the Walmart one and the Italian one, um, I believe the Walmart one is cheaper, but that one could be cheaper as well because it's a smaller 
bottle, so don't quote me on that. Um, the most expensive water is the Essentia, then the Fiji, then the um, Smart Water. And um, also this one I actually prefer out of the four as far as because it comes in a, a glass bottle and uh, it's a little bit more expensive compared to this one because it's glass and not everybody likes glass because it's inconvenient at, at, at some point it breaks easier of course but it's healthier it's the healthier version compared to the four right here um, so yeah let's cut the video because we're running out of time I guess and um, again let us know in the comment box what what do you prefer um, what you think if it was somewhat educational informative um, and if not that's fine too thumbs up thumbs down please like and subscribe to the channel if you like uh, share the video if you think someone could benefit from the video and I hope you enjoy the deliciousness that we will serve in future videos take care bye